Hey up viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist and welcome back to Dangle Dong Dangle <laughs> Welcome back to Dangle Dongo everybody, trigger happy havoc. This is episode 23 with me, General Red Strategist. I fluffed up that freaking intro, didn't I? Jesus. You know what, fuck it. Let's call the game that. Let's call it Dangle Donga. <laughs> Oh god. But yes, you remember, in the last episode, all kinds of stuff actually went down. Sakura was outed as the spy, or the traitor, whatever you want to call it. And man, it, basically, suspicion has been planted in the minds of some of the other students like Hiro, Byakuya, Toko. Kyoko, of course, tried to appeal for calm, because of course she, uh, kind of like me, saw that this could easily turn into a motive for another uh, murder. In other words, that we're kind of wandering a bit into the Mastermind's trap. So yes. Obviously we've got some free time to do though, now, and I obviously uh, do get the feeling that um, we can't be too far from the next uh, murder case. The thing is, it could be anyone, really, who uh, can be carries it out. It could be Sakura carrying out against someone else, it could be Byakuya or Toko against Sakura, it could be Aoi against Byakuya, it could be Toko against Aoi, it could, God knows. Everybody's got reasons to kill here. But yes, right, free time. Before I start rabbiting on about crap, let's see who is around. Uh, nobody on the uh, dormitory floor there. Anyone there? No? Who's the nearest? Who I haven't talked to? Ah, right. You're on the hallway 4F, Kyoko and Hero. You're in the music room again? Um, you two are in the office. And you're in the chem lab. Hmm. I kind of want to talk to you now, Sakura. Because, you know, innocent till proven guilty and all that. I want to hear your side of the story. Screw it, let's go to the chem lab and see if we can spend a free time with Sakura. Normally I'd go for you, Hero, since we've got a couple of your uh, free time events down already. But this time, no, we're going to go for Thingy Bobber, Chem Lab. Uh, unless we can talk to you. Are you willing to talk now? Anyway... I'm busy, I don't have time to waste. Oh. Damn it. Makoto, just man up and just tell her what's going on. Tell her what's on your mind. Even if she doesn't want to hear it, just tell her. That'll get her attention. Sakura, surely I can talk to you, please. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I'm ready to open up just yet. Maybe if you create the right opportunity. Hmm, should I have with Sang of hang out? Yes! I see. Even if I don't feel like talking, you'll still stand by me. Yeah. I'm, I'm prepared to listen to your end of the story. <laughs> I still don't understand you, Makoto. Yeah. Without saying a word, I stood by Sak Sakura. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yes, definitely. Unlike her hero, I actually do know what sort of presents you like. And I do know one that comes straight to mind, is this one. You like this one, and I have one left, which is good. <laughs> I never imagined a boy would want to give me anything. I'm a little embarrassed, but also very happy. I get the impression that she liked it, that's good. Nice. Oh. I'm not going to learn anything else? Oh, I thought you liked that. I have plenty of time. I don't feel like just sitting here, I should go somewhere. Oh. Damn it, I thought, hmm. Balls. Well, that didn't quite. Hmm. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. I accidentally clicked on my door. Like an idiot. Dang it. Okay, actually, you know what? Instead of going out to the hall, I can probably just fast travel. Oh, everybody's around here, apparently. You're in the warehouse. You two are in the dining hall. You're in the main hallway. Um, and you're in the dressing room. Let's go to the dining hall again, because, you know, see if we can actually talk to uh, Sakura this time. Will she be prepared to open up a bit more, or is it doing this deliberately? Dot dot dot. I'm sorry. I appreciate the thought, but I'd like to be alone right now. I need time to myself. I need to think. Although that's one skill I haven't developed too much. Oh. Damn it. Okay, well, yeah, I think we're not going to be able to spend time with her. That's a shame. So, who shall I talk to then? 
because everyone's around here. You two are in the main hallway, apparently. Um, Byakuya, you're in the warehouse. You know what, actually, shall we? Hmm. Fuck it. Let's do something different. Let's go to the warehouse and let's talk to Byakuya. <laughs> of course you're near the warehouse, because you're probably freaking stalking him. Byakuya! I know you're a dick, but I kind of want to talk to you just to find out some stuff about you. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. That's the freaking shell. Oh, but I got a Monokuma coin, apparently, which is pretty good. Byakuya! Hmm. Sucker and Hina. <laughs> Finally, some action. Hmm. Things are starting to become interesting. What do you want? Huh. Oh, I didn't see you standing there. Did you need something? Hmm. Should I talk to Byaku for a while? Yes. That's fine. Fine. I don't mind. I, uh, I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. Hope you appreciate this. <laughs> uh, you say it in such a way, don't you? I spent some time with Byakuya. Byakuya and I grew a little closer today. Would you believe it? <laughs> would you like to give him a present? Yes. What would you like to give him now? I looked at the wiki. Interesting uh, little thing. Where is it? Um, it's in here somewhere. Apparently, you like this. The Emperor's Thong. I would never have thought. <laughs> But apparently this is a present that you like, so here you go then. Fine, I'll take it. I hope you appreciate this. Yeah, it's always me should appreciate it. You know, it's not like you should be thankful for me giving it to you, but... I get the impression that he liked it. That's good. He liked this <laughs> slightly suspect thong that I gave him. <laughs> I have a question for you. Huh? You do? That's right. Something's been bothering me for a while now, and I can't take it anymore. So, so to answer my question... Hmm. I need you to explain to me what exactly your ultimate lucky student title means. It means I was picked by a lottery. Oh, well, I don't totally get it myself, but what I do know is that I was picked at random from a pool of normal students. So, in other words... So you just got into Hope's Peak by blind luck. <laughs> I see. Well, that answers my question. What was the question? Don't think too hard, Makoto. <laughs> He's basically, you know, he sees you as basically a brainless idiot, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. How a commoner like you, with absolutely no unique talents or abilities, could get into this school? In other words, he looks down on me. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention boring. How a boring, untalented, utterly generic commoner got in. Boring? Generic? Did you really have to list all that stuff? Oh wait, I'm doing the wrong voice. That's me talking. Did you really have to list all that stuff off? Naturally. But it's the truth. Maybe compared to you, the ultimate affluent progeny and all. But even I... <laughs> You seem to think it's merely an issue of title, but make no mistake. My lineage, intelligence, figure, athletic ability, they are all ultimate. In other words... Which is to say, I am the ultimate perfection. Feel free to begin calling me that, in fact. Wow. <laughs> He's very full of himself. He's really taking this to the extreme. <laughs> you, who have nothing. I, who have everything. We are living proof that all men are not created equal. You have my pity, Makoto. I can be very cruel indeed. Dot dot dot. <laughs> and because I pity you so much, perhaps someday I'll allow you to hear my tale of glory. Consider it a blessing, a gift from me to you, to allow you to bask in my glory. Wow. <laughs> Having finished his mean-spirited lecture, Byakia left me standing there in silence. I learned one thing about Byakia today. Any time I talk to him, I need to be prepared for extreme psychological trauma. <laughs> yes. His report card's been updated. Ooh, you just unlocked the skill cool and composed. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. Once again, I hope you can all hear that. Also, once again, I'm recording this in Bandicam, not Fraps. Holy shit, seriously, right? After I finished recording the last episode, which, uh, you know, was just a few minutes ago, because I'm recording this in Bombic Session, I checked the file size. Holy shit. Bandicam's file sizes that it records in are so much smaller than Fraps. I hope that doesn't have an effect, obviously, on visual quality, but, I mean, my vis uh, my actual Bandicam testing so far has so far been promising, but, yeah, obviously I just hope that the visual quality of these isn't too bad, or isn't bad at all, but, holy shit, yeah, if Bandicam seriously records in such small file sizes, and, you know, the visual quality is good, that is awesome. I did my best to keep my spirit from shattering like glass and went back to my room. Do we get another free time event? 
No, it looks like it's going to be night time, judging by the uh, disappearance of the music. Yep. Bong. Here we are. Mm. Sip of water. Here we go. <clears throat> As such, soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay then. Yep. Sweet yep. dream. Heard all that before. Night time already. Tonight feels somehow uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. Mm. Oh god. Monokuma Theatre! Here comes the voice that kills my throat. Oh my god, those crabs. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was uh, dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay then, how about to make you extra special, you can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But, but how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards, I want to go forward. I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line. Then she said, You just don't see the splendour of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Well, I haven't heard of that. Is that a real tale, or is that something made up for the game? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it, but so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend. Hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light-speed world. Do your market research, lady. Which is why I chose the always popular bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Okay. I see. Another day. Will shit have occurred? That's a good question. Mm. Good morning, everyone. Get yep. ready to greet. Will do. Okay. I need to do something about Sakura. I better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. Uh, let's go out here. Oh, um, I don't know who's screaming. Someone's screaming. Who? Huh? Was that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Oh shit! Yep, I knew something bad was going to happen. Oh god, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> I'm a Koto. We got a big problem, man. Was it you screaming? What's wrong? <laughs> Look. Hira's finger shook as he pointed. Uh oh. Oh. Hira. Ah. Right. Are you okay? What happened? She. She killed her. She doesn't look very dead, mate. Genocide Jill killed Hina! Yeah, this is probably Genocide's revenge for yesterday, isn't it? You've gotta be kidding! Uh, no, 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 no! She's not dead! Open your eyes and no way she's dead! But why? What happened? <sighs> well, Toko and Hina, just all of a sudden they were yelling and then... They knocked the pepper off the table. And that led to a sneeze. You SOB! <laughs> wow. Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and the look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? <laughs> totally not adorable. Anyway, you're totally not adorable, boys. I just to get her out of my sight, okay? Or else. My beautiful scissors! I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Okay, then, let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, Hero, help me. Uh, um... It's a sure thing. <laughs> what? <T> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she's had a go at Aoi, basically. Or rather, she was... Uh, her and Toko started shouting. They knocked the pepper off the table. Toko sneezed, turned into Genocider. And Genocider attacked her <laughs> with the scissors. Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. Oh dear. Not good. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. So thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it really was just a scratch. 
<laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. Yeah. Don't start taking credit, mate. It's not the time. <laughs> yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. <laughs> so sarcastic. That just makes you sound even more hostile. Oh, boy. Sure you're okay. What was it all about? Was it about Sakura or Byakuya? Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, uh, we just got into a fight and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. Okay, what was the fight about? Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura. But... At first I just tried to ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get to you all the time, you'll never have time left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just... What the heck? Now think about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. You're serious? A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. When things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose. Oh wait, this is me speaking, not her. When things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? Sorry. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Because... Because... <laughs> because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, he and his eyes started welling up with tears. Just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office, nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off its hinges. And there she stood before us. Hina! Huh? Sakura! Ugh. You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Uh, nothing. It's not a big deal. Hey! Makoto! Hero! What's the meaning of this? <laughs> it, it wasn't me! It was Genocide Jill! It's all that demented murderous fiend's fault! Ugh. Oh god, she's pissed. Damn. To hurt Hina. Damn you. To leave me alone, but hurt her. What is this? How dare you! What is this? <laughs> <sighs> I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. Oh, no forgiveness! Unforgivable. I can't forgive this! Oh boy. <laughs> Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. What? What? I, I don't hate you exactly. I can't forgive this. Why? Uh, 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 somebody say it. Oh, wait. That is not Hero's voice. <laughs> Why did I go into Toko voice then? Somebody save me. Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later... What's going on? Hey. What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. It would seem... I gather that something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... <sighs> I'm drawing a line right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. Oh, God. Wait, Sakura! Hina sprang to action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... Yeah, Kyoko and me. Now's your chance, Makoto! Come on, you've got to talk to her. Um, Kyoko? Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. That's fine. It's fine. Oh? Huh? Whew. About that issue we discussed earlier, it doesn't matter anymore. Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> to think like that. Is good, or are you going to suddenly turn around and say, Damn you! <laughs> I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. Okay, that doesn't surprise me. Wow, it wasn't arrogance, come on. I was just, you know, trying to make absolutely sure. You know, I don't want to jump to conclusions. What? Because... Ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, it doesn't. Come on. No, that's not it. If that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Are you... Do, have you forgotten about it? You really don't seem like you have. Besides... And I... Oh? I may have overreacted. Huh? 
Anyway... It's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thank you. Oh boy. Is there anything else you want to talk about? That issue we discussed doesn't matter anymore. I want to talk to you about something else. Okay, um... Yeah, this one. This is what we need to talk about. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? Indeed. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere. Uh, come somewhere with me. I have business there. Oh, okay. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? Well then, shall we get going? Okay. With a typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Uh, Kyoko! I hurried to catch up to her. Oh, where are we going? Somewhere interesting. She walked ahead in silence. And in silence, I chased her. And eventually we arrived. If you're wondering what these little pauses are, it's probably because I'm sipping my water. Where are we? Ah! We're going to talk to Walter Ego. The dressing room? So the something else you mentioned... Indeed. That's right. It has to do with Alter Ego. But you said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs Alter Ego. He has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Okay. Guess we talk to the computer then. Um... Hello. Oh, um, it's, so it's just the two of you? Kyoko and Makoto? Kyoko's fingers glided across the keyboard. Is two not enough? Thank you. No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. What is he wants to ask us? Indeed. Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What did you want to ask us? So, um... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. Oh, okay. What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, Why? You see? Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, saying I've finished my work... But... I don't want that. I want to be able to help. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can all get out of here. That's right. That's what Master would want too. So, to help everyone else... To solve the mystery of this school... The only way I can help is if you connect me to this school's network. But if you did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the mastermind would find out about it. They'd find you and they'd... You agree, right, Kyoko? So... I realise how dangerous it could be. But still, I have to do this. But... I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... But still... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So it's okay. I'm gonna do my best. So if it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed, too admirable, too fragile. Hey. You remember what you asked before, Makoto? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can say this. Correct. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Kyoko. I... To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself any more. Because if we take any more risks, the Mastermind really will notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But... Hey. He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says that he wants to fight alongside his friends. Now, if you were in his, oh, if you were in his place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. Ooh, we're getting a lot of motivational speech here. Dot, dot, dot. So, um... Are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. I want to believe in myself. I want to be able to say, I know I can do this. Leave it to me. So please, let me try. Listen. And besides, there's one place where the Mastermind might not notice. One place? That's right. Remember, there's another place besides here where there's no surveillance camera. A room without a surveillance camera. The secret room? That's it. The secret room you told me about. Yeah. Where I got attacked. 
I definitely remember there was no surveillance camera in there. Indeed. And I do believe you can connect to the network from there. I remember seeing an Ethernet port on the wall. Ah. However... Just because there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the Mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We'll also have to move Alter Ego, and the Mastermind may spot us going into the secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I still think we need to try. Correct. Because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Kyoko. In that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide him with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay then, I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then... Then let's get started. It's going to be a little cramp for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? We started packing him up right away. I closed the laptop and stuffed it under my jacket. <laughs> oh, it tickles. What, can the computer feel it? Oh, okay. Shh, you can't talk right now. I'm going to move you to another room. Until we get there, you have to be absolutely silent, okay? Jesus. Understood. Your command has been implemented. Good. To have him react like a machine like that all of a sudden, I don't I didn't know how to react. Makoto. In the secret room there are a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers. So there might be a network cable in there? However Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is go and check if uh, check for ourselves. It's true. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. Oh boy. How are we gonna do this though? Where was it? Was it on the second floor? I think it was on the second floor, wasn't it? I could probably actually just fast travel there. Uh, first floor, second floor. Go. And it's in the boys' bathroom? Hey. Hey, Makoto. Why? Are you sure all the documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Oh? Go and check again. What? Listen to me. Just hurry up and go. And to make sure you don't run off, I'm going to wait right here. Oh, I get it. She's acting. Oh. She was so forceful, I thought I'd made her mad again somehow. Ah, okay, right, yeah. She's putting on a show for the camera to make the mastermind think, presumably, that we're looking for documents, not plugging in a laptop. Just a second. Why are you just standing there? Hurry up and go. H okay, okay, I'm going. So then... And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Ah. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Here we go. Back in here. We should probably examine the room. Okay, first we have to find a network cable. She said it would probably be in one of the drawers. Can I examine any of this stuff? There were so many documents here before, and now nothing. Who took them, and why? Okay. Is there seriously nothing else in here to uh, examine? Nothing at that angle? Nothing over there? No? Okay, examine the desk then. Going to Kyoko, there should be a bunch of cables in this drawer. Hmm. Found it. This is a network cable, right? Yeah. Double-ended USB. <laughs> now we just have to connect Alter Ego. I immediately got to work. I pulled out the laptop and connected it to the Ethernet port with the cable. Aha! And that should do it. Um... That's right. Yeah, I think it worked. Leave it to me. Just leave the rest to me. I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect to the outside world. If I can, I'll see if I can call for help. So? So please just wait a little while longer. I'm gonna do my best. Just hold tight and put your faith in me. And as, I, uh, as I was about to leave, I decided to leave him with one last thing. No matter what, we're gonna get out of here. You and all the rest of us as friends. Huh? Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. Go. <laughs> Makoto. How'd it go? Well, it went okay, but all the undocuments were gone, just like I told you. My reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. I see. Then there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. <laughs> wow. Well, off she trudges. Before I knew it, Kyoko was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore, that much was for sure. Uh, Kyoko? What? Yes. So, we're just going to split up. Why is that? Of course. I have no reason to stay with you at this point. Well, maybe, but isn't that a little too direct? Whew. 
Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? You're so high maintenance. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I just had more I wanted to talk to you about. Like, what are you going to do about Sakura? It's true. Well, something has to be done, it's true. However... But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. Then what should we... So... If we can find some new clue, that would likely change the situation. That's all we can hope for right now. Which is why alter ego... Correct. All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. That's our only option, yeah. Let's hope that alter ego can find something. Mm, yes. We parted ways and I headed back to my room. Oh boy. Is it more free time? Or... I'm kind of tired, so I lay down in bed. Maybe because of, because of the stress of moving alter ego, but I was way more tired than I realised. So before long at all, fell asleep, oh dear. I had completely dozed off. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> uh oh. Someone's ringing? Huh? The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. Oh. Who is it? Rattle? Makoto. Oh. Get out here. Kyoko, what's going on? Indeed. Hina just came to see me and she was white as a ghost. Oh. Sounds like something's happened. Uh-oh. What? As soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. I suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. Oh, God. What's going on? Hina? Uh, huh? Makoto, Kyoko. Hina, what's wrong? S something's not right. In the rec room. What's inside? There was a window on the rec room door and I hurried to look inside. And when I did... Oh, sh Oh? Sakura? Is she... unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? I was just walking past and I happened to notice her through the window. But I couldn't get the door open. What? I tried knocking, I tried calling her name, but she wouldn't respond. Uh-oh. Huh? So what should we do? What are we going to do? Anyway... First of all, we need to get into that room. But the door's locked, right? And if we break in, we'll be violating school regulations. Listen to me. We're going to force our way in. I just said... Wrong. The door isn't locked. It's not locked, because the rec room door doesn't have a lock. Heard uh, them why... It would seem... It feels like the door is pressing up against something inside the room. Is it the chair? Chair? In other words... Either way, this door isn't locked, which means, as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then, there's no problem if we break in? Indeed. Smash the window. That should be the fastest way. Okay, I'll go get something to break it with. Wait right here. Oh boy. Inside the rec room, Sakura still hadn't moved an inch. Is she unconscious or is she dead? She's just unconscious, right? I have a horrible feeling about this. Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure... Dot, dot, dot. Kyoko didn't reply. There was only silence. But that silence didn't last long. Here! I found a broom. In the classroom. Use it. Makoto. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please! Please hurry. Okay, you two stand back. I took hold of the broom and swung as hard as I could. Aiming directly at the window, all it took was one solid hit. The window shattered into a hundred pieces, scattering across the rec room floor. I stuck my hand through the now-open window and started jostling the chair, leaning against the door. The chair's pretty heavy, but if I can just... I pushed on it with all my strength, and finally the knob turned. Sakura! I ran up to her as fast as I could. But the moment I laid my hand on her... Oh no. Oh no. She's dead. She's smiling? Oh boy. All I felt was cold death. I could feel only the last lingering warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body. And then... Oh dear. Crap. 
a body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Why am I not surprised? Of all the people who could have died, it was Sakura. Because there are certainly people huh? who have a motive in killing her. Sakura's. Yep. She's dead. Sakura's. Dead? Yeah, you're not going to take this well, swimmer girl, are you? She's really dead? I heard Hina talking, but my eyes started uh, stared steadily forward, rather. I could only look on at Sakura's dead body. Oh shit. We didn't make it in time. It's happened again. Muttering to herself, Kyoko began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wondered, was she confirming that Sakura really was dead? Checking for a pulse or a reaction? Oh dear. Wait, did my phone just go off? No, 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 I'm just hearing things. Okay, dot, dot, dot. I have to go get them. I have to go get the others. On shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. And I? Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. I repeated it over and over again. I... Need to examine Sakura's body. Oh boy. I just stood there motionless behind her while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed. While I stood there, unable to do a thing, time just passed. Oh boy. I'm not surprised that she's the victim here. I had a horrible feeling that she was in danger. Oh god. And after I don't know how long... I got everyone. What? Hooker! Mm, yes, yes! Oh, so she's a dead, huh? I see. Sucker's been killed. I see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. <laughs> Interesting. Sucker was murdered by someone in this very room. Is that what you're going to say? Huh? No. Whoever killed her? It's not just someone in this room. It's your fault! It was one of you. Hiro, Byaki, Toko. One of you killed Sakura. What? 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 You're accusing us before we've even begun the investigation. <laughs> yeah, you're upset. I suppose Byaki and Toko would be likely suspects, but let's not jump to conclusions here. We've jumped to conclusions in the past. And, uh, you know... It's always proved to be wrong. I don't need to investigate anything. Because you hated her. You hated the sight of her. I won't forgive you. One of you did it. I know it. Now slow down, Owie. You were like this in the last case. and it tur You turned out to be completely wrong. You know it? Is this Monokuma? Yes, it is. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Jeez, I didn't know your power level would increase by that much just by getting mad. What the heck? What are you doing here? Come on! Isn't it obvious? I'm here to hand out my little murder flyer! It's the Monokuma file! That's right, it's the next Monokuma file! <laughs> and don't get so mad, Mrs. Asa <laughs> Miss Asahina, or you're going to come ruin that rude little face of yours! Hmm. Now then, with that, I... Hold on. There's something I want to ask you. Huh? It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura. Say what? Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you and her fought again, and then... In other words... Then I killed her! Hmm? Sorry, not quite. Actually, not even close! <laughs> that whole thing is totally irrelevant now! Sakura came to a most regrettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me! Phew! Which, thank God for that! It saved me the trouble of having to go through with our little fight! <laughs> Because even, even for someone like me, it would have been no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. Hey, um... i got to tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. Well, darn. So I don't know who it was, but whoever the blackened is this time, I owe you one. What is this? You owe them one? <laughs> Oopsie, before you get all pissy potty at me, you better figure out who did it first. Shing! Because, I mean, your lives are all on the line, right? <laughs> what oh boy. is this? What the hell? 
He owes them one. I won't forgive you. I hate him. I hate this whole thing. <laughs> well, I, for one, I'm glad it was Sakura. She was working for the mastermind after all. Oh, God. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're going the right way for another slap or something worse, mate. How can you say that now? <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game has already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway... Right now, our top priority needs to be uh, uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. Now let's decide who will stand guard this time. I'll do it. Hina? I'm okay. Just let me handle it. Besides, I, I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay then. Hina is guard number one. But we need one more. Hmm. Kyoko, that's you. What? Me? Hmm. I think my voice just gave a little bit then. <laughs> You're always a thorn in my side. This time, just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. An order? That's fine. Fine, I'll stay behind. Really? Hmm. Then it's settled. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on. Before that, there's something I want to say. What? Which is... Hiro, Byaki, or Toko, none of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? Oh wait, it's wrong voice. It's your fault! <laughs> One of you killed Sakura. Now slow down a minute. I won't forgive you. I won't let someone like that come anywhere near her. Stop talking. Don't be stupid. Our lives are in just a, are in. Uh, I'm fluffing my lines here. I should probably wrap this episode up soon. Our lives are in just as much danger as yours. We have every right to investigate. I don't care what you say. I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. Even if it means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. Well, it appears further discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compromise? It's all clear now. I won't ask you to let all of us in. Just let me. What? 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 Hmm. You don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Yep. No, but I don't really care. Uh -huh. I don't know how to spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving Master anyway. Hmm. And you, Hero, do you really object? Um... If you're gonna go that far, what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear now. Then it's decided. What are you saying? Nothing's decided. Calm down. I know how you feel, Hina, but you should agree to his request. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not easy on you. Hey. We have to find out who killed Sakura. Correct. For those of us still alive and to honor Sakura's memory. Fine, I guess that's okay. But no matter what, Byakia, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> Naturally, who would want to touch a filthy dead body? Listen. That's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation from here on out. Everyone, keep this in mind. If we can't uncover Sakura's killer... Listen to me. All of us face execution. Finding out who killed Sakura. It's not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's a kind of hopeless hope. We have no choice but to just do it. Is it investigation time? There we are. I better check the Monokuma file before anything else. But, oh right, it's just going to go through this. Right, the victim was Sakura Ogami. The time of death is estimated to be around 12 noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There is evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noted. However, it seems that at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. Okay, that's been added to the truth bullets. Hey. Good. I think the case this time might be a challenge. Why's that? So... The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through. And that door had been jammed shut with a chair from inside the rec room. Which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. So if the door was blocked from the inside, and there was no way in or out till we broke the window, there's like zero escape, right? In other words... This is a classic lock room murder. Lock room murder? I guess you might see this kind of a lot... Uh, this thing kind of a lot. This kind of thing... Oh, right. God, I was misreading that then. I guess you might see this kind of thing a lot in mystery movies or books or whatever. But could it really have happened in real life? And right before our very eyes like this? Hey. Well, yeah, I, I am, but I think it's time to wrap up here. So, thank you, everybody, for joining me for episode 22 of Dongle Romper. Trigger Happy Havoc. <laughs> oh, boy. Sakura is dead. I've gone into the fourth murder case now. 
I'm actually kind of sad that she has, but at the same time, not entirely surprised. Because, yeah, she had been outed as the traitor. Oh, God. There are definitely some people here who have a reason for killing her, or who are definitely suspicious. Byakia, for a start. Toko, quite possibly. Hero, I'm not sure about, but I don't see any reason why he would kill Sakura. Aoi, obviously, is her friend. And I don't see any reason for Kyoko to have killed her. And obviously, it's definitely not me, so... Yeah. Byakia and Toko are... are not prime suspects, but are definitely ones who we need to talk to about this, but... Yeah. Other than that, there's no, you know, obviously we've got no real evidence so far. But we'll be getting the evidence in the next episode with the investigation. So, yes. Also, obviously, what makes this one interesting is, as Kyoko says, this whole locked room thing. The fact that there appears to be only one way into the rec room. And obviously, since the door was shut using a chair, that raises a question about how the killer could have got out. So there's a blow to the head and vomiting of blood. We'll find out more about this, obviously, in the next episode and what's going on. So thank you, everybody, then, and hoping you all join me for episode 23 of uh, Dungan Rumper. <laughs> I've decided saying the name in silly ways now. So, yeah, obviously, in that episode, we'll uh, continue with the investigation. We'll probably make that the focus of the next episode. And then after that, we'll obviously get straight into the next murder trial. So, yes, if you're not doing so already, you can follow me on my Facebook and Twitter pages. Links in the video description, as usual. You can go and sign up to those. They're a good way of doing so, you know, staying up to date with my videos if you don't have a YouTube account and therefore don't have notifications. And in the meantime, I'm going to leave you with some words of wisdom attributed to Napoleon Bonaparte himself. The best way to keep one's word is not to give it. So bear those uh, words of advice in mind, everybody. And in the meantime, this is John Red signing off. Goodbye. Oh, got him. Shit, 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 shit. Get off the edge. Oh, no, no, go. Get out of here, get out of here, get out, 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 get Oh lord! No, 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 no! Holy crap! This area's horrible! Oh, oh my god, I've been shot to fucking pieces! Ah! Oh my- what the fuck? Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Whoa! Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Fucking hell! Bloody hell, that did like a million damage! This better not be a- Wah! Shit! No! Oh my fucking god! How many- What? 